Hey friends, it's Miss Grace here. I am really excited to read this book, Green is a Chili Pepper, with you today. This book is amazing because it celebrates so many different parts of Hispanic culture, from food to dances, familial relationships, holidays, crafts, um, many of which I'm sure you're familiar with, but I'm excited to show them all to you in this book here. Let's get started. I do want to give a quick disclaimer that I do not identify as Hispanic, but I think it's really important that this information is shared so that we can better understand each other and the world around us. If I mispronounce or misrepresent anything, please send me an email. I have it linked in the description below. I would love to have a conversation about it. Green is a Chile Pepper, a book of colors by Roseanne Greenfield Thong, illustrated by John Para. Red is a vista. Red is a spice. Red is our salsa on top of rice. Red, rojo. Red is a ribbon. Red is a bow. And for skirts, for baile folklorico. Red, rojo. Orange are the marigolds on Day of the Dead. Orange are the platos for special bread. Orange, naranja. Yellow is masa. We used to make tortillas, tamales, and sweet corn cake. Yellow, amarillo. Yellow are the stars that lighten the night. Yellow are forforoles flickering bright. Yellow, amarillo. Green are the corn stalks. Green are the pails. Green is a bench for abuela's tails. Green, verde. Green is a chile pepper, spicy and hot. Green is cilantro inside our pot. Green, verde. Blue is the endless sky above and handmade crafts for those I love. Blue, azul. Purple are the rides that swirl and spin and the feria prizes that we win. Purple, purpura. Pink are adornos and candles that glow. Pink are piñatas. Watch out below. Pink, rosa. Brown is a churro, warm and sweet, and homemade chocolate, a special treat. Brown, marron. White are the flowers we put in the vase in sugar skulls and handmade lace. White, blanco. White are the doves that chatter and coo and the palomitas for me and you. White, blanco. The world is a rainbow of wonder and fun, ribbons of color rolled into one. And ponchos, sorapes, and xylophones too. These beautiful colors are waiting for you. The end. Now, if there were any words in the book that you weren't familiar with, stay tuned because I'm going to read through the glossary, which means that I am going to explain all of the words that maybe weren't so familiar to you. The glossary is sort of like a dictionary, but only includes words from that book. Abuela, grandmother. Adornos, decorations. Baile focorico. Mexican folk dancing, known for heel stomping and swirling skirts. Each part of Mexico has different dance costume, which can include ribbons, bows, fancy hair pieces, and shawls for women.
in colored hair ties, belts, wide brimmed hats, and boots for men. Calaveras. Sugar skulls given as gifts or tokens of love in place on family's altars for Day of the Dead. The skulls, made of hard compacted granular sugar, are decorated with colorful sugar frosting and often have names on their foreheads. Chiles. Chiles come in many colors, including green, red, orange, yellow, and even purple. Two popular green chiles are poblanos and jalapenos. Chocolate. Mexico is a birthplace of chocolate, pronounced chocolate in Spanish. The ancient Aztecs enjoyed it as a hot drink mixed with vanilla and chile pepper. Later, Europeans sweetened it by adding sugar and milk and removing the pepper. Mexican chocolate comes in bars, discs, syrup, and powder and is used in a special meat sauce called mole. Churros. Long, thin, donut-like snacks that are fried until crunchy and sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. I love churros. Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. On the 1st and 2nd of November every year, to remember and honor the dead, cemetery graves are decorated with bright marigold flowers, candles, and a sweet bread called pan de muertos. Faroles, lanterns made of colorful paper with a lit candle inside. They are used for nine nights before Christmas during posadas or procession during the village when participants stop at different homes to sing carols and enjoy food. Feria. Held during holidays, ferias are carnivals that often include rodeos, rides, food stalls, and game booths for winning prizes. Masa. A cornmeal dough used for foods like tamales and tortillas. Marimba. A Mexican xylophone with wooden keys played by several musicians at the same time by hitting the wooden keys with mallets. Nowadays, toy xylophones are made with rainbow colored keys. Ojos de Dios, God's eyes. Ancient symbols made by weaving colored yarn around two crossed sticks. The center of the eye is made when a child is born. Each year, a bit of yarn is added until the child turns five, at which point the eye is complete. Palomitas, meaning little doves. It is also the word for popcorn, probably because the puffed white kernels sound like flapping wings when they fly out of the pot. Pan de muertos. This sweet bread, known as bread of the dead, is baked specifically for day of the dead. It is often shaped like a skull and covered with frosting to resemble skeleton bones. Piñatas. Containers made from paper mache, covered in colorful paper and filled with candy and toys. Breaking a hanging piñata is a favorite party game. Blindfolded children take turns hitting it with a stick until the treats drop out of the ground. Piñatas come in different shapes like animals, trucks, soccer balls, unicorns, and cartoon characters. I wonder if anyone's ever made a carrot-shaped piñata. Platos. Plates or serving dishes. Poncho. A blanket-like coat with a hole for the head worn over the shoulders. Ristra. A bundle of chile peppers known as ristras often hang on long strings in Mexican kitchens. They are used for flavoring and making sauce or salsa. Serape, a long rectangular piece of wool cloth worn around the shoulders or used as a blanket. Serapes usually have dark background with colorful stripes or fringe on the ends. Tamales, packets of steamed cornmeal often filled with meat or cheese wrapped in corn husks or banana leaves. I also love tamales. Tortillas, a thin flat circle of pressed cornmeal cooked on a griddle. All right, we have made it through the glossary. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed the book. I really enjoyed the book and I love the illustrations too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.